Get ready to dive into the fascinating world of Patrick de Marchali. This renowned French fashion photographer not only captured the essence of elegance and sophistication in his images, but also left an indelible mark on the history of photography. As the first non-British photographer to portray a member of the royal family, de Marchali broke barriers and redefined industry standards. From his iconic sessions with Princess Diana, to his collaborations with the world's most prestigious fashion magazines, his legacy endures as a beacon of creativity and inspiration. With his distinctive style and ability to capture the essence of his subjects, de Marchali became an influential figure, creating images that transcend time and fashion. His meticulous work and dedication to perfection led him to collaborate with internationally renowned brands, elevating the art of fashion photography to new heights. Throughout his career, he immortalized some of the most iconic models, celebrities, and influential personalities, creating a legacy that continues to inspire generations of photographers and fashion enthusiasts. His impact persists as one of the most influential and respected photographers in the history of fashion photography. Join us on this journey to discover the unmatched magic and talent of Patrick de Marchali.
Patrick de Marchali was born on August 21, 1943, near Paris into a modest family. He spent his childhood in Le Havre with his mother and four siblings. His love for photography began at the age of 17, when his stepfather gifted him with his first camera, a Kodak Eastman model. He moved to Paris at the age of 20 to work for a photography lab, printing newspaper photographs. He later became the assistant to a photographer who shot film magazine covers and eventually the assistant to Hans Forer, a photographer who worked with Vogue. In 1975, having won a reputation as a respected fashion photographer in France, de Marchali decided to follow his girlfriend to New York, despite not speaking a word of English. He worked as a freelance photographer and assisted the likes of Henri Cartier-Bresson, Terry King, and Zach Gilbert. From then on, his work appeared in numerous publications, including many Vogue covers, and he also photographed campaigns for Calvin Klein, Ralph Lauren, Chanel, Elizabeth Arden, Dior, Giorgio Armani, and Louis Vuitton, to name just a few. Officially, Patrick had no formal education, but that didn't stop him from becoming a famous photographer in the fashion photography industry. In 1989, he became the personal photographer of Princess Diana of Wales, who contacted him after seeing one of his photographs on the cover of Vogue. In fact, he was the first non-British photographer hired by the royal family. De Marchali has photographed covers for nearly all the major fashion magazines, including Life, Newsweek, Elle, Mademoiselle, and Rolling Stone. Patrick de Marchali photographed the most beautiful women of his time and played a key role in the era of the so-called supermodels around Claudia Schiffer, Cindy Crawford, Nadia Auerman, Linda Evangelista, Naomi Campbell, and Christy Turlington. He also worked with singers like Beyonce and Madonna and photographed the famous Pirelli calendar three times. He was also the photographer for a beauty and lifestyle guide called On Your Own, written for young women by Brooke Shields. Since 1992, de Marchali worked with Harper's Bazaar, becoming the publication's primary photographer. Having spent his life behind the camera, de Marchali stepped in front of the lens in the 2009 documentary The September Issue, which memorably chronicles his collaboration with Vogue's creative director Grace Coddington. De Marchali's astonishing ability to capture stunning imagery in both understated and elaborate settings kept him at the top of his profession for decades. A fantastic 2010 photo featuring two models in vibrant Dior dresses, striking defiant poses hands on hips against a well-groomed boxwood maze, brings the excess and frivolity of 18th century Rococo into the present day. De Marchali's 1998 photograph of a young Cuban with fists clad in boxing gloves demonstrates a similar synthesis of setting and pose. Although the gym is rather ordinary, the child's posture and intense gaze lend the image seriousness, even glamour. In 2007, de Marchali was appointed an officer in the Order of Arts and Letters by the French Minister of Culture. In 2011, he co-authored the book, Dear Couture, with then-interview magazine editor Ingrid Sishi, showcasing a collection of photographs ranging from Dior's inaugural collection in 1947 to those from Galliano's tenure at the house. De Marchali worked on and appeared in numerous film and television programs, including Die Another Day in 2002, Coyote Ugly in 2001, and Sex and the City in 2008, as well as Broadway campaigns for theatrical productions like Street Corner Symphony. He worked on television commercials for L'Oreal and the acclaimed Calvin Klein underwear series starring Christy Turlington. Patrick de Marchali published several books, including Fashion Photography in 1989, Photographs in 1996, Exposing Elegance in 1997, Forms in 1998, Dear Couture in 2014, among others. 
DeMarchali had a solo exhibition, The Cult of Personality, at the Small Palace in Paris in 2009. Staley Wise Gallery presented his most recent exhibition in 2019. Patrick de Marchali died in St. Barthélemy on March 31, 2022, at the age of 78. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like it, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel. This way, you'll always stay up to date with all the videos I produce here. Until the next one, see you later.